This is an Arrhythma by Adiator. It's made of some light metal, maybe aluminum, with little sliding pieces inside. These things were very popular, were in production from the 1920s until the 1980s. Mine's a fairly late model, and it's in really excellent condition. I even got it with the original stylus and the original case and the original instruction manual. The case looks a little like leather, but it's just cheap plastic. In a time when adding machines were big, heavy, and very expensive, this kind of thing would have been really attractive to some people. The thing is super light. It weighs just two ounces. That's about as heavy as two slices of bread. It's also really small. Here it is next to a giant novelty comb. Nah, let me put it this way. Here it is next to this tiny little thing my kid got. Nah, let me put it this way. Here it is next to a tightly rolled up dollar bill. Nah, let me put it this way. Here it is next to a little lump of clay. Nah, let me put Here it is when I hold up a regular piece of paper in front of it. Nah, here it is with this big stuffed animal. Eh, it's about the size of a dollar bill. The name of this thing is a bit of a mystery. Adiator is actually the name of the company that manufactured them. Adiator Gumby. Adiator made lots of different variations on this basic design. And this particular one has the model name Arithma, whatever that means. But all their marketing in English just called it an Adiator. And as other corporations started making devices like this, the word adiator came to be used as sort of a generic term for any kind of sliding adder. So I'm going to call this thing an adiator. The adiator is a descendant of a basic design by Frenchman Louis Troncet that he patented in 1889. He called it the arithmograph. To add numbers, you stick your stylus in towards the top and you slide it down. So 12 plus 61 looks like this. I do the 12 then the 61. You can see the answer in the red numbers there and you pull up on the bar to clear it back to zero. The adiator doesn't carry from one digit to the next automatically. It has the cutest manual carrying mechanism that I've ever seen on one of these old machines. You slide all the way up and around the corner to add one in the next position. So to do 15 plus 78, I do the 15 then the 78. Now when I try to do the 8, the slider won't go all the way down. That's my signal to go up and carry over to the next digit. The sliders are color-coded to help you predict when a carry will be necessary. If you put your stylus in the white zone, you won't need to carry, so you go down. If you stick it in the red zone, then you will need to carry, so you go up. So you decide what number you want. If it's white, you go down. If it's red, you go up and over. This is actually pretty easy to get used to and pretty fast, even though you're doing all the carries manually. There's one little issue with the carrying process that maybe you already noticed. Sometimes you need to carry two digits at once, like a 99 plus 1. A single carry will cause another carry. The adiator only lets you carry one digit at a time, though. Uh, here's what happens. See, 1 is in the red, so I go up and over. And now you see a little up arrow in the window in the next digit. That indicates there was a double carry, so you have to clear this arrow out by grabbing the zero and sliding it all the way up. It's not so bad. This is annoying when it happens in the middle of a computation. You kind of have to stop what you're doing and clear the arrows before continuing. Like here I'm doing 31 plus 68 plus 5 plus 98. The instruction book is fun to look at. I'll put a PDF so you can check it out. It's got some examples worked out to teach you the basics and three whole pages on how to deal with the arrows thing. They tell us over and over how easy it is to clear the arrows, but uh, the exclamation points are a red flag for me. They call it the world's smallest precision adding machine, which is probably true. I've seen slide rules about this size, but I guess they don't count as precision. They say a lot that it doesn't make any mistakes, but I think that depends on who's using it. This adiator can do subtraction too. To subtract something, you use the lower sliders and you go up instead of down. The symmetry there is pretty pleasing. Actually, the whole thing is pretty pleasing. The more you use it, the more simple and obvious it seems. That's completely opposite of the big industrial style adding machines. It's a great little device. It's super portable even by today's standards, and it's a lot of fun to use. 
For me, the best part is the curvy track for the carrying. It's so simple, it seems obvious, but it's not. That's some true design.